Hi, I'm Mike Jolly, and I'm a Senior Product Manager at Canadian Solar. This is my EP Cube installation. One of the things I really like about EP Cube is the flexibility of the system. This system has the ability to connect DC coupled power from solar. You have four micro MPPT channels that you can connect DC solar into. Connects to the grid, of course. From the gateway, we have two outputs. We have EV charger output, and we have the ability to connect an interface with an AC coupled solar installation. If you already have solar, you can connect it right into our gateway. I have the main power that is over here, and over behind the camera, I have the sub panel. It comes up and it goes across. I, was, I intercepted that line. It comes down in this large conduit and it goes in. So I have the main service utility come in and then it comes out on the load side and goes back out into the sub panel. So I'm supplying the whole sub panel with power that can be used through the battery, through the solar or utility. It will blend the power as needed. Solar DC circuits come in from the solar on the roof. There's approximately 7.6 kW of DC available, a little bit more AC. I've got uh, nine, two 9 kW systems uh, on the DC side, and I have two 7.6 kW systems. One of them is through the EP Cube, and I previously have a competitor's, a, a different inverter on the other system that comes in on the AC side. So I have both AC and DC. If I were to start over again, I would probably do everything DC and save one of the conversion steps from DC to AC. So I'd be able to directly charge the battery off the DC solar panels without going through an inversion step and save that efficiency. Overall, more efficient system, more round trip energy efficiency. This is the solar circuit that's coming in. This is the AC connection that comes in and goes directly to the gateway. This is the hybrid inverter. It receives the DC solar inputs and it exports the AC power back to the gateway. The gateway makes the decision what power it will use from the solar, what's, it will use all the solar power, and then it will pull from the utility as needed or the battery, depending on what setting you have for backup or time of use.